Hope, what do you see? Um, what do we need our cis black sisters? What do we need from them in order to lighten our load? What I uh, what I honestly need is them to do some honest healing. I think without a healing amongst black cis women, they're never going to be able to understand, empathize, or support black trans women. There are a lot of folks, and especially within the trans community, and especially within the black trans femme community, that are at this point where we're just ready to see black women stand up, where we just want black women to come and undo the things that they've done that have indoctrinated these men and empowered these men to feel like they can take our lives at will, right? But there has to be an empathetic gaze on this to understand and see that while it might seem on the surface because of action that Black women don't know that they can be hit next, but it's because of the fact that they do know that they can be hit next. It's because they have been hit. It's because they'll be hit even harder if they don't. It's because the idea that as a Black cisgender woman, you're expected to be there even when you're not supposed to be there because it is your job to birth, to mother, to be the matriarch of the community, regardless of what that community looks like. And I think that before we get into talking about how they can help us, it's about how they can help themselves. What are the conversations around Black womanhood and Black system that are happening that are empowering black women beyond this level of you a queen you a queen oh my god everyone's a queen now right but what are we really doing to empower black women to feel not only like queens but to feel seen and to feel like they can own that queendom i can be a queen and not be valuable to my court i can be a queen and not have a voice sometimes being that queen is simply showing up and looking the part but how are we moving beyond looking the part for black trans uh black cis women and moving into the idea of actually being that so they can then show that empathy and that mercy that we see from queens that bountifulness that we see from queens that matriarchal nature that we see from queens because as long as they are in a space where they feel hunted, they will hunt, right? It's the it, it's that whole cycle of hurt people hurting people. And I think that as long as cis women continue to be hurt and be bashed on, their whole entire agenda will be to hurt those people. Okay, so y'all just heard that dialogue right there. And shout out to, uh, let me see, I want to make sure I get this person right who tagged me into this. Um, Tony Carter on uh, Twitter, one of my followers on Twitter and subscribers on YouTube. Thank you for tagging me in this to the black women who follow me and listen to me. What did I tell y'all months ago? I called this. I said black women eventually. Well, one thing they're, they're doing or trying to do is replace you. The other thing is eventually they will turn on you. Now, you see that one in the yellow, the one, the first person who was talking, that Angelica Ross. I've talked about that person on my channel, I think maybe once or twice before in the past, and how they have been saying some very slick things about black people, but especially black women. But some of you don't listen. And I'm not talking about the ones who are subscribed to me who know what I'm talking about and understand where I'm coming from when it comes to this kind of conversation. But they actually had this person, Angelica Ross, who was biologically born a man, a male, go onto a panel with other women who are biologically born women and have discussions about women's issues with other men. And, you know, they didn't have to say in this this whatever this uh little panel that they were talking about black men. We know who they were talking about. We know who their issues are or who they um, excuse me, who they have an issue with. But what I've been trying to tell black women for the longest when it comes to Hall T is that they will love to have you around to be their little cheerleaders while they're biting off of whatever it is that you do. I mean, look at like a lot of the mannerisms, literally and figuratively, that they do of you. They're trying to be you. They're trying to replace you. I keep telling y'all over and over and over again. And now look at what they said in this video that y'all have to step up and check these misogynistic men and how they treat, quote unquote, trans uh, black trans women. And they're also saying that, well, we know y'all won't check them because y'all won't even check them when they're trying to check you. In other words, when they're beating on you, you don't do nothing. So we know you ain't going to do nothing when they beat on us. I keep trying to tell y'all over and over again, they are not your friends. They are your enemy. One of many, by the way. But they are an enemy 
that's actually within arm's reach. Like you can actually get closer to them. But see, they also are trying to tell you in so many ways they don't need you anymore. They use many of you as a pedestal to climb up to get to wherever it is, wherever they want to be. Now they don't need you anymore. That's something else that they're saying. They're not going to come right out and say it. But that's basically also what they are saying. I've been tr I'm telling you, I have been warning you. I've been warning you all about this group for the longest time to not trust them. Anybody who can go and have a surgical procedure to alter their physical appearance because they feel like something else other than what they were born as, then get the operation and then walk around and call themselves that. Clearly, to one, one, well, two things. One, they have a psychological problem. And two, they are not to be trusted. I said what I said. Anybody who feels some type of way about it, that, hey, that's how you feel. It's a free country. But listen at what they said. They said that you are responsible for protecting them from this big black boogeyman. Meanwhile, what were they before they decided to make the quote unquote transition? Wouldn't they be the quote unquote big black boogeyman? And I don't can't I can't tell how many stories I've seen of uh, of of people in Hall T who get into physical altercations with other women, or those in Hall T who compete in women's sports and beat them, or like that one with that boxer beat the hell out of that woman. So they couldn't cut it in men's sports, but want to go over and compete in women's sports, and win all these awards. And don't get me started. It was another video I did about this one person who I identified as a trans woman, but still looked like a damn man in the prison system with other women and was out there sexually assaulting and raping the inmates. Now, why isn't this panel talking about that? I talked about it. But see, they don't want to talk about their own degeneracies. But they'll point the finger and nitpick at everybody else who looks like them. Funny, they don't have all this smoke for Ed Buck. Like I said, because many of them are the Ed Buck or many of them want to be bucking with Ed. I said what the fuck I said, and I mean it, and I'm standing firm on my square with it. Like I said, I have been warning and telling black women on my channel to not trust them now of course when i'm saying it i know i'm not talking to the women who are subscribed to me because i know y'all have a functioning brain and many of you already see it for what it is <clears throat> but this needs to be seen by as many black women as possible because they are like i said they are not your friends they are using you and some of you are allowing yourselves to be used I don't know what's worse. The fact that you know you're being used and allowing yourself to be used or you're just mentally obtuse and don't know you're being used. I'm going to go more so with the former and a little bit of the latter. All I'm going to say is this. Y'all better wake up. You better wake up. They are no good at all. Run this video back. When they was talking and listen to what they like, really listen and pay attention to what they are saying. Now, many will say, well, come to this video and say, oh, I'm being this phobic and that phobic and everything like that. But one thing you can't say is that I'm lying. Because it's easy to say that you're this and that phobic because, you know, that that's a, a tactic that you're using to deflect and to try to get people to stand down. But you got to wake up pretty early and go to sleep pretty goddamn late to pull one over on me. And see, it's crazy because it's one thing to come from myself as a black man, my grievance with this community. And it's another if it comes from a black woman who has a grievance with this community. And to be honest, I know what I'm saying will probably fall on deaf ears. They don't like hearing us talk. Look at the BLM website. They said we're going to 
we're going to change how the nuclear family is structured. We're going to have women with women, you know, raising these kids because apparently these men can't do it. We're going to have Hall T at the front lines and at the war room because apparently these men can't do it. But meanwhile, they're biologically born men. And if you saw one of those comments that popped up there and that said trans women are women, if as a biologically born woman, y'all, as I've been saying in the past, should be offended. You have gone through so much in your life, internally, externally, as a woman, to have someone come along as a Johnny come lately and decide that one day they, they're going to completely alter their, their physical appearance and then claim that they're a woman without having to go through what you go through. How is it that I, as a man, am more offended than some of the actual born women about this? I will have some biologically born women actually give me pushback for saying that. Even after what they just said here. Like I said, y'all should be extremely pissed off. And that's putting it lightly. When it comes to what you just heard in this video. I kid you not. I was on a live stream with Santi Walden and he had did a topic. Um, and he was showing a clip from this new show on Showtime called P Valley. And it was two, it was two black men. One of them identi identified as a hall T man. You can clearly tell that he was, it looked worse than holiday heart. And the other black man was, you know, clearly a black man. And, you know, he had the exterior that he looked like he, like he was a gangster or a hood person or something like that had a grill in his mouth and all the tats and everything. And he's sitting up there and he's kissing on this man in a pink wig and he had a full beard like no feminine qualities whatsoever like you could tell that was a whole man and then as the clip progressed and i kid you not they moved the camera down and the guy the one who had the grill was rubbing in the private areas of this other man in a pink wig and he was sitting there moaning as if he was rubbing a clit i don't i, I hate to be so graphic with it but it is what it is this is what I mean when I say that they're trying to replace you. And this is what they would prefer to see. Now, I'm willing to bet that they would not do that with anybody who was PC in that community. They allowed them to still have some type of humanity to them, I guess you could say. But when it comes to us, it goes into the land of degeneracy. And that is what they prefer. Degeneracy is a fantasy for them. 